What's up, everybody? This is That Brown Bat here for another episode of Mod Messin'. And today is the tutorial on how to mod in the Corazon Sky Dome. And that's all it is. It's just the ring around it of buildings, but nevertheless, it's still something that we should have gotten in the toy box. And we did not because things like this help out a lot. And that way you don't have to build everything. You could just be in the uh, atmosphere and it looks like a huge city, even though we only have a couple buildings. With that being said, let's get into how we did this. All right, first things first, it all has to do with the realms folder. Now, the original realms folder before everything's unzipped looks like this. Bunch of zip files. And I went through every single file and found out what was in each one. So I'm not going to do that now because that will take us 15 hours and we don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So let me just show you in here. I went through all the different files, unzipped them and found out what was in each one and I labeled each folder. So the one called RLM TCW COR ENT district that is Corazon upper city. Now, as far as other, there's certain ones I can't find. Maybe I missed them again. There's, there's, there's a lot of files in here. The original one has 365 files. And when you unzip them, of course, there's more files in each one. So RLM underscore TCW TCW stands for the Clone Wars, which was which is the what they use for Twilight of the Republic. There it is. So RLM, it's a zip file, not a regular zip file. Um, this is uh, this is I guess the best place to put the disclaimer in here if you're new to modding uh, and you're just going to jump in and do this. It's you're going to find things aren't going to work in your favor because there's a lot of other things that you need to do prior and i recommend you check out my playlist for my mod messing tutorials and in this particular playlist you're going to find disney infinity modding quick bms and unlua c tutorial you're going to find the character dnx file mod tutorial and then you're going to find how i went and did certain things but the first two in the playlist are probably the most essential ones if you don't know anything about Disney Infinity modding. Okay, with that, all that being said, uh, let's uh, see what we can do. And again, it is RLM underscore TCW underscore COR underscore ENT, e -N -T, district dot zip. So go about unzipping that by first Make sure your address bar, you have that copied and locate the folder where you, where you, where you stored quick BMS and then open that up the proper way. And then go to the address bar up top and paste in the address that you copied. So it'll take you to the particular realms folder and then you have to locate it. Or you could select all and do them all and, and wait about 30 minutes. I don't think it'll take 30 minutes, but anyway, in this one particular, we're just doing the uh, entertainment district. So double click it and then save. All right, now it is extracted. Okay, so once you got your folder unzipped, you're gonna wanna unzip another folder. And the other folder, uh, is gonna depend on what Sky Dome you wanna replace. What Sky Dome do we wanna replace? I'm gonna use Atlantis. So that'd be under TBX underscore ATL. That's this Sky Dome right here. 
So again, we're going to do the same thing as we did uh, in quick BMS and unzip that one. You can use any one you want. It's just this is the one that I'm going to use. Doing it the same way. Let me find TBX. Oh, there. Yeah, TBX underscore ATL. Skydome. It's Atlantis. Open it. Save it. That was quick. All right. Go back to or find it in there, the open one. And you're also going to want to, uh, well, let me do this first. All right, this has textures in it. You're going to want to take all the textures. Uh, actually, in this instance, it doesn't matter. But normally what we would do when we do this, we take the textures, go to assets, textures, and just dump them in here. And I already did that. Um, I didn't mod them or anything like that, but normally you would do that because when you unzip a folder, uh, when the folder is zipped, the textures, if there's textures in that folder, uh, that's what it reads off of. And if you don't do that, you're going to get a red, pro probably going to get a red sky or some other uh, weird sky if you don't put the appropriate textures in there. But we were replacing that anyway with, uh, with Corazon, so... All right, let's go back to realms. All right, so let's find the Corazon one, and it's right there. So we want the OCT file. And we're gonna bring that in here, into the Atlantis one. So I got the Corazon OCT, OCT file in here. And I'm going to, just so we don't have to redo this again, I'm just going to say BK for a backup of all this stuff. But I don't want to back that up, and I don't want to back up the backup. So I'm just going to say uh, copy, paste all the unzipped stuff from Atlantis in the backup. And I'm going to take the name of the Atlantis Sky Dome OCT, delete that, and rename the Corazon OCT file. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna take all these, right, from Atlanta Sky Dome, copy it, paste them out here. Now nothing's gonna load yet because we still have Atlanta uh, Sky Dome zip still renamed, or still named uh, the original name. So I'm just gonna say OLD. So it's not gonna read off the zip file. It's only gonna read off the OCT, but you're gonna see it doesn't work. Okay, so if I get my sky changer and I go to Atlantis, properties, sky, you're going to see that Atlantis won't change. Now, that is because I don't know why. <laughs> I can't give you an explanation. So we can try to jump this and get it to glitch to the Atlantis sky, or we go back, save it on the Atlantis sky, and then do the mod, and then come back and it will be Coruscant. Let's see if we can jump it. Where did I even get the idea of jumping? And that is once the sky dome is in the saved memory of a toy box, for some reason you can jump back to it with a glitch. I don't I don't know why. New logic connection on random. New logic connection off. I'll just say Disney Castle Sky. We might not need two of these to jump it. There it goes. Alright, so you don't even need to do the other one. So just do this. I was gonna show you another way, but forget it. This is easier. So you just jump it until, it, oops, there, nope. I did it too many times. Jump back to it. There we go. Then you're done with that. Then you just go to there, here, and say properties, keep current sky. All right, let's <laughs> just try that again. On random off 
Disney Castle Sky. Once you got it, save your toy box, load it, and that's going to be the one with your Sky Dome. I'm ready. Now, some things to note, it's very bright, and when you change the camera angle, it's going to be grayed out. So what you do, and it's just how this, this particular Sky Dome is made, get a terrain piece and just bring it up. And the higher you go, the more uh, clear it's going to be. Now it's still bright and you can still, it'll still gray it out, but you want to go up, maybe you want to go up higher. Just, just play around with it. But that's how I got it. Actually, that's an easier way of how I got it. Now, now here's something else. Let's save it on that same save. Because remember, Atlantean uh, Skydome's broken, right? So now watch this. All right, so let me stop it. Let me rename Atlanta Skydome back to the, its original. All right, and get rid of all the uh, extracted stuff. Okay, now let me load it again. Now I don't know why, but because we had the Sky Dome, I was going. Where'd that shadow come from? Because we have these up here. See how the sky down there changes. But because we saved it, right, and this particular Sky Dome, even though it was supposed to be Atlantis. It saves us as this. Now, if we are to take the sky changer and select Atlantis, it will change it back to Atlantis. That's what I was trying to show you that the higher you go, uh, the more uh, crisp the city gets. So you want to bring it up high if you're going to build in this. Of course, if you go down, it's like, oh, there's nothing there. Well, kind of not supposed to go over the edge. Um, so anyway, let's say I get a Sky Dome now. Or a Sky Changer. And for some reason, I want to go back to Atlantis. Now, because I changed the files back, guess what? It goes to Atlantis. So how do you change this? Can you change it back? Now, we have it saved. If I, if I, if I... Uh, load the save it's it's gonna revert back to Corazon because I saved it at that now if I saved it in this situation it's gonna go to of course be Atlantis but because Corazon is still in the system even though it's not a legitimate sky dome that we're supposed to have we can still uh, trick the system to going back to it I don't know if all this is gonna be useful to you or not but it might be. Uh, it might be useful to finding a static, uh, a, a static uh, solution to putting different sky domes in here, so we can legitimately change them and have them on the roster. So this might be a stepping stone for somebody else, maybe. So I'm doing the same thing I did here to jump it out and to show you it, it will jump back to uh, Corazon. right there and just get rid of that get rid of that and i'll show you if we save it again you know override the other save and load it it'll still be corazon so again in order to get rid of that haze you're gonna have to want to go all the way up but that's why i hesitated in making this video for so long 
because I knew it's not, some people won't consider it to be practical. And that's also why I took so long in making the, uh, the Jedi temple because of that fact. And the other thing is I made it too low. And once I put the sky dome in there, it was all haze. And now that I say that I have to go way up in the sky in order to have an appropriate skyline, I might have to redo this. Now, I don't know if I could jump it out right now. I might be able to, I don't think so. Let's see if I can jump it out without doing all the uh, rigmarole of changing the uh, Atlantis files. I might because this is, un yeah, I just crashed it. Shouldn't have crashed since I crashed it. Let's do what I did before. Take those and remember that OCT vial uh, for Atlantis is Corazon. Because we changed it. I'm just going to put those back in there. Load up my Jedi Temple. Sky Changer. Power switch. Elijah connection on. Random. Elijah connection off. Disney Castle Sky. Perhaps I have to go to properties and have this start at Atlantean. There we go. That was weird. But anyway, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, you have to tell it to be Atlantean. Uh, before you start jumping that out. So I just figured that out. So I think I'm high enough in the sky, so I'm glad for this. I don't have to redo this. But anyway, well, here's a sneak peek at uh, the Jedi Temple. And it's in its glory. And it's not the uh, toy box version, or it's not the game. It's not the game version. This is this is my version. So until next time, remember to keep on modding.